let's uh, let's take a look at some uh, VW products today and see what's going on here in the shop. So let's start with the 72 little square backer wagon, whatever you prefer to call it, VW. So, um, like I say, it just came in for basically a paint job. Sand it, prep it, and give it a paint job. Fix a couple little dings, but as we all know, there's... You feel something, you look at something, but you always find a little more when you start sanding. So we found a few more items here that we had to fix and we got going. But nothing major. Nothing major. This car is actually a beautiful car. So as you're seeing here, all these parts I'm showing you are all the parts in primer. Now they just get a block. And uh, we send her off for paint. But... Because this is all in primer right now, we don't just, we don't do, the very next day we don't just start sanding primer. We leave primer sit for a few days. Primer, if you don't know it, anyone out there that is working on cars does know it though. Primer shrinks. And, uh, and what I mean by that is it, I don't know how to explain this properly. I'm not a teacher by no means. It just, the more it dries, the more it cures and it, it, it just, it, it goes from like, I don't know if that's your hand, it goes from that and it just shrinks up, which means that if you sand it too soon and then paint the vehicle, there's a possibility the primer wasn't cured properly and it could start shrinking, which could start showing lines in your paint job, if that makes any sense to you. Wrinkles, we'll say, as if it's getting old. So best to leave it sit. Next question is, how long do you leave it sit for, you're going to say? <sighs> God, you know, I mean, again, everyone's going to have their own opinion. We like to leave things sit for at least, you know, I mean, if it's a small little spot, it's different. But if it's a whole car like this, I mean, we're on, what day are we on here today? I don't even know. But let me see, let me add this up. We're going to leave it sit for at least probably five days anyway. At least five days. Um, if you can leave it sit a little longer, that's great. Um, but this, I'm just, I'm just trying to see here. What I would, uh, what we leave this for. But I would, I would think we're going to leave it for five days. We never do it any sooner than that. Uh, I'm trying to be honest with you guys of what we do here. I mean, sometimes, like, if this hood came in and we just primed a little spot like that, and that was it, well, then, you know, a day or two, and then we just uh, scuff it and paint it. Some people argue and say, oh, you can just sand the primer and get going, and and you, you probably can. You can, but, I mean, there is a chance of shrinkage, so why would you take the chance, right? And anyway, there's our 72 wagon. Everything's primed up. We're going to rotate and move these parts around today, get them kind of out of the way and get onto something else. And we're probably not going to touch this thing. I think today's thir it is Thursday today. So we're going to leave it for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, we'll be back at it. So it'll be six days of sitting in primer. So that's what's happened there. Now, let's walk by all these cars. There's the old Rustang. If you remember, I did a video. You guys asked me to of me cutting all that out. Um... I don't believe I'm going to do another video on how to weld all these panels back in because I just did that. But I will do a couple videos showing you as it comes together. So let's go on to our next V-Dub project. The Karma Gia. Oh! Sarah, if you're out there watching. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you about this car. Anyway, I can tell you the driver's side's all done. Let's take a look. There you go. The whole look at that. All that is new. Everything is new on the driver's side. We're not just looking at the outer, the inners are all new. All of it. All of it. Everything is new. All up in there is new. The tires on now you can't see. It's up on the hoist. I can't get up in there. Um, it's all brand new. Up in here, new. The problem is, up in here we're putting it, it never ends. If you can see here, the patch is, you know, right there. We come onto this side, and they do not make above there a patch. We get onto this side, and it's just, oh, it's just gone all the way. We gotta fabricate that. It's gone, and where can I show you this? Here, I'm gonna show you guys this, if you can see this. Maybe, is this it? That, uh, well, this is the upper piece, with our half inch to inch thick abondo, where someone smashed the old metal in, welded another patch over top, and the problem is, look at it like this. That's how it was. All the shit's going between it and just rusting. You can see it's already rusting there. Where's another piece? 
This piece is actually three layers of metal, if you look down it. It's hard for me to show you, but this is three layers of metal, and look how thick the Bondo is. Oh, it just, I feel so bad because it just never ends with this car, and you don't just do metal work. People think, and I get so sick of it because they watch these shows, they think you just set a patch in there, weld it on, and you're done in an hour. Well, if that was the case, the thing would be so wavy and so ripply and not done properly. What you'd have done in an hour is what you just saw I picked up off the floor. That's what you'll do in an hour. It takes time. You don't want to heat the metal up and distort it and warp it. This takes time to do. Again, you can see we had to make this piece in here and put this all in. It just is time consuming and I don't know. All I know, if you're out there watching Sarah, is we're hopefully going to get this made up today and everything tacked in place and then next week we finish fully welding it and then all we got left is the front corner of the Carmagia. That's it. It's just going to be the front corner only. So that's, that's where we're at with the little Carmen. There's a bunch of more rust and metal. I will tell you one thing. This car, seriously, for the amount of Bondo we've ground off it and the rusty old metal and the overlapping, this car is definitely going to be 200 to 300 pounds lighter. And I'm not saying that in this video just to say it. It is true. It's going to be at least that because there's been dust pans and dust pans full of Bondo we've been taking off this car. So, I mean, it's going to be two to 300 pounds lighter. It's going to be a gorgeous little car when it's done. All right, well, that's what we're showing you here in the shop today. Remember, it's always a good time at old time. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. And um, get out in the shop and build yourself something. Get out there and do something. January's here. It's the start of a new year. Everything's going to be fine. No matter what's going on out there in the world, just do what I do. Build higher fences, turn the news off, and just do your own thing. Who gives a shit? It's always a good time at old time. See you later.